Beginning hip activation exercises. Perform all activation movements for three sets of 10 reps. To perform the elevated glute bridge, you want to lie flat on your back with your feet elevated onto a step board. Place the hips in a distance from the step board that creates a 90 degree angle from the calves to the hamstring. You want to squeeze the glutes, pressing the hips high into the air, creating a flat line from the knee to the chest. Maintain the position for a split second, allow yourself to come back down to the floor, and repeat again, contracting the glutes, pressing in with the heels, and getting as high, opening the hips as high as you possibly can. The next exercise is just slightly more advanced, and is the single leg elevated glute bridge. The setup will be exactly the same, however you'll take one heel and place it on the knee, allowing only one foot to be down onto the board. You'll squeeze the glute, press the heel, open up the hips as high as possible, bring yourself back down to the floor, and repeat. Our third exercise here is the side lying clamp. Now to set up for this movement, you're just going to lie down onto your side, rest your head onto your arm, pull your knees up in towards your chest, create a flat line from the back of the feet to your back, you can open up the hip, pressing the knee upwards towards the ceiling, trying to not rock the hips backward or forward while contracting at the glute. You can put your hand onto the upward hip to try to feel out the muscle, activate only from that location, and repeat this for about 10 reps. Our fourth exercise is the side lying straight leg raise. Now the setup for this is similar to that of the side lying clam, however you're going to straighten the legs out and pull the toes up towards your chin. Try to create a flat line from the back of the feet to your back once again and open up the hip only identifying the upward glute. As you raise the leg, bring the heel towards the ceiling and rotate the toe downward towards the floor. Bring your foot back down and repeat this again for 10 reps. Our fifth exercise is the side lying internal hip rotation. The setup for this is exactly the same as the side lying clam. However, this time you're going to bring the heel upward towards the ceiling, allowing the foot to rotate around the knee as opposed to the knee opening up around the foot. Contract only from the piriformis and the upper glute, and again place your hand onto that muscle in order to identify it a little bit further. Be careful to not allow your hips to rotate inward or outward throughout the movement. The last exercise here is the elevated corkscrew. You need to stand on a step board and bring one foot as far back as possible, lowering the toe to the floor. Now without resting on the back foot, going to drive the knee back up into a high knee position and open up the hip. Try to straighten the peg leg and drive from the hip. When opening the hip, attempt to maintain a square hip position, not allowing for any rotation of the knees or the hip. You're going to try for one smooth motion from top to bottom, not stopping at any point throughout the movement. You'll notice a lot of ankle stability here and definitely a lot of glute contraction.